section includes videos in which we'll learn about recent activities within the, within the Youth in Focus programs, live reports from staff and board members, and the chance to hear directly from an alumna about the impact of Youth in Focus on our students' lives. To make this mission truly successful, though, we need your participation. There are a few ways that you'll be able to do your part. First, please open up and use the chat feature here in Zoom. Let us know you're here. Ask questions, make comments. Secret agent ben Benji, Anders Benji Anderson is in the chat room to keep the conversation going. Also, make sure that you're logged in to the Mission in Focus bidding page. You'll want to have this open on your phone or in a separate tab on your computer so that you can bid on silent auction items and participate in the raise the paddle. If you haven't yet registered to bid or donate, you'll need to create an account. There are instructions in the chat about how to create your account and get logged in. Agents, we have a special celebration for you tonight as we wrap up our mission in focus. To begin, please stand by while we patch in our top agent, Samantha Kelly, Executive Director of Youth in Focus. Samantha, are you there? Scott, I hear you. Mission received. Good evening and cheers. Welcome agents. Scott, thank you so much for the introduction and for helping us complete the final phase of our mission tonight. Agents, welcome. Thank you for tuning in tonight, for committing to this mission and championing youth voice. I am grateful to each of you for making the time to be with us and for joining us from your remote locations across the mission globe. Our future depends on our young people and our future depends on agents like you. Together, we are on a journey to ensure all youth have equitable access to high quality arts education. We are preparing our young people with the skills, resiliency they need to be the creative change agents of tomorrow to not only face, but solve the many challenges this world and the global forces of evil will throw their way. They say it takes a village and it truly does. So I'd like to start by thanking a few people in this village before we continue our mission tonight. To my amazing team at Mission Headquarters, Chris Fitzgerald, our Education and Communications Specialist, who is currently behind the scenes making sure our mission goes off without a hitch tonight. Ashley Marshall, our Admin and Database Assistant, who makes sure all of our agents in the field and agents in training, aka our students, have access to everything they need to successfully complete their missions. And Benji Anderson, our Community Engagement Coordinator, who is our newest agent. Benji has been sending you daily missions to ensure the global forces of evil are defeated. And he's also in the chat room, making sure that everybody is taken care of tonight. To our backup team, the Youth and Focus Board of Directors, thank you each for providing direction and guidance as we have navigated the many unexpected challenges of this last year. And to our field agents, the teaching artists, mentors, community assistants, and volunteers who assist us in our mission every single day. And finally, to our mission and focus sponsors who support our work not only tonight, but throughout the year, please join me in thanking Museum Quality Framing and Glazer's Camera. Youth in Focus has done backflips to support community need this year. We've expanded our programs and services. We've provided these services at low to no cost to the youth that we serve. Since March, we have shifted most programming to a responsive online model. And even though we can't always meet in person, it is critical that we continue to provide teens with a safe and supportive environment to process the many challenges of their world through photography. We adapted to COVID protocols to provide limited in-person programming, and we have gone through tons of hand sanitizer and cleaner, thanks Heritage Distilling for keeping us in stock. We've partnered with regional and national organizations to give the most vulnerable teens a voice and to meet them where they are, physically, educationally, and emotionally, including incarcerated youth, 
youth in foster care, youth facing poverty and housing insecurity, LGBTQ youth, and youth who don't speak English as a first language. This year alone, we have served almost 500 students. That is a whopping 25% increase from last year. And y'all, we did it during a pandemic. We need your support now to sustain the programming today and into the future, and to continue to provide opportunities for youth and families who are furthest away from educational justice and who need it the most. I know, and we at headquarters know, that the events of the last seven months have changed things for everyone. And yet one thing hasn't changed, our program matters. In fact, it matters more now than it ever has before. So we ask you to join us tonight in whatever way you are able. Thank you agents for being here and for being part of our team. Now stay tuned for a short video featuring some of the many changes our agents have grappled with this year. been a rough couple of months. But we haven't let that slow us down. We have changed our programs to be virtual. We hired uh, another community engagement coordinator and his name is Benji. My name is Benji Anderson and I'm the community engagement coordinator at Youth in Focus. And we've partnered with local organizations and out-of-state organizations our education to youth. These partnerships are extremely important right now because as our organizations work together, we can provide more holistic services to students and to the community in general. Hi, I'm Samantha Kelly, Executive Director at Youth in Focus. I am so incredibly proud of the work that we are doing to provide direct service to teens who are furthest from education and justice. Our staff has gone to heroic efforts to transition everything we've done away from this dark room in which I sit to a virtual platform so that we continue to provide the services that our young people need most. Not just arts education, not just the skills that come with that, but most importantly, a safe and supportive environment where teens can come together, even if it's through a virtual platform, to have conversations, to connect with other humans, to talk about what matters to them, to plan their future with us through art. And I'm so proud that we have not only been able to continue our programming, but shift it, change it, expand it, and really lean into all of the things that our young people are facing in the universe today. It's really powerful, and I'm so proud to be the executive director of Youth in Focus. With all of the new programs that we're offering uh, and the inventive ways that we're reaching youth in our community, uh, we absolutely cannot do these things without community support. Help us use art to ensure that our future and our community is just and equitable and the community we all want. Thank you so much. I love to see all the activity in the chat room. Let's keep that up. Thank you for being so engaged, agents. As you can see, our special agents at Youth in Focus headquarters have been busy behind the scenes, adjusting to all of the obstacles that the global forces of evil have thrown their way in 2020, and there have been many. From pivoting programs to a virtual format to combat COVID, to offering pay-as-you-can program pricing so no teens are deprived of the arts, to hiring new staff to reach new audiences and ensure that efforts are relevant to the community, they have been hard at work. To share more about our mission tonight, joining us from her remote assignment, please welcome Secret Agent O'Neill Lucretia, Youth and Focus student alumna and current board member. O'Neill? Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for being here tonight, and thanks for the intro, Scott. As Scott mentioned, I'm a former Youth in Focus student. I discovered Youth in Focus in high school and the arts truly became a guiding light for me. I participated in the black and white traditional film classes at ages 15 and 16 in what I believe was the beginner through advanced courses. And I thoroughly enjoyed each one in learning such fundamental photography skills. 
Growing up in a single mother household, it wasn't always easy to get involved in extracurriculars. Sometimes I wondered, where do I even begin? What is my thing and how do I get there? Youth in Focus really gave me this unique experience and made these normally expensive classes something achievable for someone like me who wouldn't have had access to this program otherwise. It taught me to be passionate about something. It taught me to feel empowered. It taught me that I could really be good at something and enjoy it, as simple as that sounds. Through photography, I soon realized I could shape who I was with this freedom to express myself. Each black and white print represented a unique depiction of emotion and authenticity. It also helped me think critically and problem solve, helping me develop confidence that equipped me for later shortcomings in life. Not only did it do that, but it connected me to life-changing mentors and teachers with genuine investment in me. It was a, an experience that sticks with me to this day. And for that reason now, 10 years later, I've returned to Youth in Focus and I am proud to serve on the board of directors. I know this organization is committed to providing arts education and mentorship for teens in an accessible and equitable way. Whether it's for mental health, self-expression or life skill development, I have faith that any student that seizes Youth in Focus opportunities will benefit. As an alumna, it's exciting to see all the great work that we're doing today and that we're still finding ways to engage students in this weird virtual space. Thank you so much. And now we'd like to hear from a group of our current students. Four teens will share their experience with Youth in Focus and announce the winners of our Exposure Values Contest. I think that other people's critique can help hollow out a space in your work for a little bit of other people's ideas to fill. And I think that if you if you let someone else into your piece a little, uh, that that person can show your piece new ways to develop. You know more about what you need to work on and what you have been improving on. That it's not just like, oh, I like this image. Like, I like this image because, like, there are reasons for why you like something. And it can, it can apply to, like, anything. And for me, um, as a stop motion filmmaker, think about, like, film critics. I kind of imagine that they're going by a similar framework. And so when it comes to, like, a mix of between movie making and photography, how, like, they correlate. Critique at Youth in Focus has shown me more um, about what I know about myself, that I care a lot about, um, you know, telling what is good about something and responding to people's emotions and lifting people up for their work. Um, and I want for every artist to be the best artist that they can be. And so I think that this has just like reaffirmed that for me that even through critique, you can wish the best for someone's work. Congratulations to our field agents who submitted amazing photographs, which you saw in that video, representing Youth and Focus's values of inclusion, growth and development, equity, courage and risk taking, and creativity. Winners, you will hear from Youth and Focus headquarters shortly to claim your prize. Wait, this just in. We've got a top secret message from Agent Leslie Lowe, Youth in Focus Board Vice President. 
Leslie, what do you have for us? You know, when Samantha called me last year to talk about Youth and Focus, I jumped at the opportunity to get back involved. Uh, years ago, I was a darker mentor, and I've spent a lot of time coaching teens, mentoring teens, tutoring, um, working with teens. And one of the things I've always loved is watching these kids grow, uh, watching week after week the confidence grow, uh, their excitement and whatever they're working on. And one thing that made Youth in Focus so exciting to me was that the environment that was created, the culture, everything about Youth in Focus, uh, the values are spot on, such an inclusive place that these kids really are able to find a voice and um, take a lot of risks in, through their photography. And so it was exciting for me to get back involved. Um, you know, the past six or seven months have been um, <laughs> un unbelievably challenging, I think, for everyone here um, with the pandemic, with the social unrest, uh, and literally in the Northwest and the West region, the world's been burning down around us. Um, I think that um, for me, and I'm sure for everyone here, my, um, my heart and my head are completely full and exhausted. And uh, the one thing, though, that has given me a lot of energy in the last six months has been the learning journey I've been on. I have um, started discussion groups with some of my friends, uh, some of my colleagues um, have started to really try to explore and learn about racism and about um, uh, the racial injustice that we have in our country, reading books, um, watching videos, and really listening. And really, uh, I thought I got it. I, you know, I thought I understood, and boy, did I not understand, uh, especially with a friend explaining growing up, um, growing up in a place where she had to fight for her education fight to take math classes, fight to go to college, to become an engineer, and then coming here, um, still having challenges in the Northwest uh, because of the color of her skin. And uh, so it's been really eye-opening for me. Um, and one of the things that we talk a lot about in my discussion groups uh, and with my friends is, man, what can we do about this? Um, we even talked about it as the board when we started doing some diversity training. And um, <laughs> what's, what's funny is we're doing it. We are doing it right now. This organization is so amazing. Um, <clears throat> when you think about the kids that this organization reaches, uh, those furthest from educational justice, those are teens of color. Um, those are the kids that, that need our support. And so for me, what I'm asking everyone here is what can you do? you can get involved in organizations like Youth in Focus. You can advocate for Youth in Focus. You can be our ally. You can go out and spread the great word of Youth in Focus to everyone you know how this organization is actually making a difference. We are closing the gap and that is all the work we're doing. And I think it's important and I think all of us would agree this gap needs to be closed and this is critical. And the other thing that we can do is we can donate. We can donate to this organization so that we can continue to reach more and more kids. 500 is fantastic. We need to reach more. We need to help these kids grow so they can just be awesome and successful in their life like O'Neill. Uh, fantastic. So I think that um, what I'm asking is the, the answer to the question, what can you do, is get involved and donate. And... Um, keep this organization rolling uh, and, uh, and Scott's going to get on the horn here and he's going to talk about what this money does for this organization and for these kids. Uh, Scott, back to you. Thank you so much, Leslie. What an important message. And as you can see, agents, the need is real and the time is now. Will you accept this mission to help us keep the arts accessible to all teens? You might be wondering, what is a donation to Youth in Focus support? Your support helps us cover the costs for youth to participate in the programs free of charge, for us to keep our program operating and helps us build the future we all want to see. A future full of hope and opportunity fueled by this generation of young people who have so much to offer. As you've heard from O'Neill 
and the other students in the videos, this work has a real impact on their lives. And this is your chance to make a direct impact on the lives of youth. So agents, are you ready? Let's complete this final assignment of our mission in focus together. So this is the part of the mission where if we were in person, I'd be asking you to raise the paddle to make a direct donation that supports the important work of Youth in Focus. I'm still gonna ask you to make a direct donation, but in this virtual setting, we're going to change things up a little bit. First and most importantly, make sure that you were logged into your online bidding account. If you're not logged in, there's a link in the chat to access that. You can donate any amount, donate early, donate often, and help us meet our mission. To help you find the donation amount that is right for you, I'm going to share what your donation means at each level. Hopefully we reach a level that is right for you. I would love to see 100% participation tonight. Let's get started, agents. $5,000 purchases top quality cameras or tablets for a class. We want every student to participate and have the technology that they need to fully engage. To make sure this happens, we loan equipment to students to use throughout the class. If we ask young people to trust us with their stories and their photographs, we must trust them to be responsible in return. Our students take this responsibility seriously and gain a sense of ownership in the program because of the responsibility we share, that with, share with them. If you would like to support the purchase of camera equipment, a donation at the $5,000 level will help. And I can see we've already got some coming in, which is absolutely fantastic. Look at that. That's wonderful, thank you. At the $2,500 level, you allow us to hire professional photographers as teaching artists for an eight week quarter. Your support at this level ensures we provide high quality arts education programming and teaching and arts education provides young people with the skills they'll need to succeed in education, in their career and in life. Things such as creativity, communication, collaboration, critical thinking and problem solving and resilience. Our program is preparing the next generation of secret agents to meet the emerging needs of a global society. I see several $2,500 coming in. Thank you so much. $1,000 supports one youth to participate in our in-person program or four youth to join our virtual program. Your support at this level ensures most more students like O'Neill, Jermaine, Bela, Arian, Ginger, and Callahan are able to participate without barriers to access. This is a critically important given that the arts are continually being stripped from our public education system. Did you know that 70% of public high school students in Seattle will graduate from high school without having taken even one visual arts course? $500 pays a community assistant to mentor students and provide social and emotional support in our online program. This is especially needed now that everything is virtual. As students have been schooling and participating in activities from home for the past seven months, they don't have the personal connections to friends, teachers, and community that our program provides. Our new community assistants make sure that each class makes space for students to express themselves, share what is going on in their lives, how they're coping with the world around them, and lead activities to engage students in community building and real conversation. If you'd like to provide a community assistant, giving at the $500 level will help us do that. $250 supports one youth to participate in our new virtual program. Did you know that Washington State ranks 45th lowest in funding for the arts? For a state that often leads the national rankings, this has serious impact across the board. For schools, this means the arts are cut first, leaving our young people without access to arts classes. For organizations like Youth in Focus who are providing art programs 
outside of the school setting, it means we can't rely on government funding. $100 will purchase photo paper and film for a class. We want our students to be proud of the work that they create. So each student selects a final image that they're most proud of. Many examples of these student masterpieces are still available for bidding in the online auction going on now. And each student receives a print of their work to either keep in their portfolio or to give away. Our final level for the night is $50. And $50 provides snacks for a class. We serve students furthest from education justice, including students of color, students facing poverty or housing insecurity, and for whom English is not their first language. 70% of our students represent these priority populations. We all know that you cannot learn or concentrate when you're hungry. So we make sure that our students are fed so they can learn and have fun. Hopefully we've discussed a level of donation where you feel comfortable participating. I can tell that that's the case because that thermometer has been climbing the whole time I've been speaking. And wow, agents, you are amazing. As you can see, we're at $35,500. This is incredible. While we still have a little bit left to go to hit our goal of $55,000, it's important to note that none of the current bids on the silent auction are reflected in this thermometer. So there's at least another $4,000, if not more, and you should drive those bids up to make more which will be added when the mission ends at midnight. I would like to remind you that as tonight's program wraps up, the giving does not. You can still donate and bid in the online auction until midnight tonight. And we would love for you to keep that money coming in to continue the important work of this organization. Now, let me introduce Special Agent Benji Anderson, Community Engagement Coordinator at Youth in Focus. Special Agent Benji created and issued the daily missions to all of our agents this week, and he has selected a top agent who stood out throughout the week. Benji, who do you have for us? Good evening, agents. Thanks to your efforts, the global forces of evil will not prevail this year. Agents across the country came together to compete and complete daily missions to restore creativity and joy to the world. I've just received this classified package from headquarters, which contains the name of the winning agent. As a reminder, the winning agent will receive this wonderful package from Heritage Distilling Company, a delicious bottle of BSB 103. And not one, but two beautiful cocktail glasses, because no agent should drink alone. And the winner is Agent Lisa Slobajan. Congratulations. You are truly a mission in focus agent of change. Scott, back to you. Thank you, Special Agent. And thank you, everyone who has participated tonight. Remember, you can still donate and you can still bid in the silent auction items until midnight tonight. Please keep that money coming in. Now, to close us out, a final good night from the amazing secret agent team that battles the global forces of evil every day to ensure our young people have equitable access to arts education. I'm Scott Carnes, signing off the mission and kicking it over to our team at headquarters. Good night. Good night, Scott. And thank you agents for joining us tonight. Here's a special toast to everyone in the field, near and far. We are delighted that you joined us this evening. Uh, we could not have done this without you. I'm a little verklempt. Um, thank you so much for letting our thermometer rise. Uh, so. Uh, dramatically in the last few minutes. Um, we're doing good work. We have this amazing team and we couldn't do it without all of you. So we're gonna say good night. I have to attend another mission.
So let me put on my disguise. Good night, agents.